All right, Katie, we're back with the first day of school. So it's important for people to understand, and a lot of people don't get this, but it's not about what we don't want the dog doing. It's what we can get her doing. So we got to get her doing things. So if you said, what does she do? No, now she'll jump all over you, scratch you all up. If you said, so I don't react to that. I just, I don't have any reaction. If you said, say no, 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 that's not going to work. So just keep eating your candy. Yeah. <laughs> so as soon as she stopped, I gave her some. She said, what did we want to get her doing? We want her just to lay down if you sit down instead of jumping all over you. And there's ways to get them doing it. If you said lure them into a down, no. I don't even like the word lure. It's it just everything about it. If you said, well, fishing lure, yeah, that's designed to trick the fish. So there's a difference between luring and just giving the treat low. Whoops, uh-oh. So you want to get her laying down. Oh, she's thinking about it. Oh, you good little puppy. Oops. He said, what about sit? I tell people all the time, forget about it. Forget about it. You really only need one stationary command. Most dogs will already do it. It's the simplest thing. It's like saying my dog says the letter A, or my kid says the letter A. You're not going to have a teacher on the planet that says, impressive, impressive. Just give the treat low. If you said, what's the difference between that and luring? I'm not withholding it at all. I'm not withholding it. The subconscious dog will eventually say, God, it might be easier just to lay down. So she might go into a sit and then I can do it from there. I took her on another nature walk last night and she hasn't had any accidents but I've been taking her out all the time so you, you want the dog to decide on its own there's better places to go than in there punishing them isn't gonna work I had that one dog Samson Lisa if you're there she bought him at a pet store and when she dropped the dog off she just kept saying his system is slow his system is slow I didn't even know what that meant I made her write it down on the contract. Her system is slow. If you said, what did it mean? It mean that when you put him in the crate, he pooped and smeared it all over the place. If you said, what was that like? Oh, it was awful. I said, now I know what she means. The system's slow. It's slow when he's outside. It speeds up when he gets in the crate. If you said, did you fix it? Absolutely. Oh my God. No, they still have him. He's doing great. She sent me a picture or a video of him not too long ago. So I'm not luring the dog into a down. I'm just giving the treat low. And the difference is the timing. I'm not withholding the treat and trying to get her to do anything. I'm just giving it to her low to the point she'll say, yeah, it might be easier to just lay down. Or I've got an idea. What if I just lay down and do it? She said she's not even thinking of doing it. Her legs are completely braced. Yeah. When their legs are completely braced like that, if you went to force them, their, their legs are already braced. It's not luring because I'm not withholding it. I'm not trying to say do something and you'll get it. I'm just giving the treat low. Now I'm kind of bending her that way. She's thinking about it. You said, why should stuff be their own idea? Because once it's their idea, you're not going to stop them from doing it. He said it's not really their idea. It's not. So 
I'm not luring because I'm not withholding it. I'm not saying I'm not going to give it to you unless you do it. If they just conclude on their own, it might be easier just to lay down and give it. He said, who is it fighting to lay down? Herself. That's why if you start fighting them too. <sighs> I don't like luring at all though. It just doesn't have a good connotation. If you said, oh, they were lured into a white van and taken away. <laughs> or they used a lure to catch a fish. Yeah. Good, except for the fish. already taught her that. Yeah, that's everybody. Whoops, uh-oh. <laughs> that caused her to lay down. So I'm going to wait for her to sit again. See, our head just involuntarily keeps dropping down now. She's thinking about it. The back end is thinking about it. So what does she see? That bird over there. There's this bird that comes over here and gets the treats that I drop. Almost. I just bend her 
this way a little bit. It's almost. <laughs> you said she's resistant to it? She is. It's only her first day. three legs. You said it's subconscious is telling it not to do. It is. That's what it is. And you are training the subconscious star. All right. So what we want to see if we can get her giving us stuff. I'm sure you've seen the videos where they pick up the keys and do all these things. So. Good for first try. You said, Can you shape it from that? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. She's going to be able to do it. Oh, for sure. She said she was looking under there for some treats. She was. Because one treat went under there one time. Oh. She just looked at it. So you reward that. Oh, absolutely. It's kind of like, I always say it's like the Barbie thing where a kid playing with the Barbie and then the dog goes and gets the Barbie and chews the feet off of it, chews the, pulls the head off of it. Don't know if she's going to be able to do it all. Said, what is she? They, they don't know anything. You've got to think of it if you, if like a monkey was trying to teach you stuff, <laughs> you were just having to kind of go by what it was doing. If you said, what is she doing? She is looking at my eyes, trying to figure it out.
So that's why you don't want the sit. And that was the same as that last dog. They just sort of revert to that. See, she's trying to figure it out. What does it what does it have to do with this thing? These gloves are cheap too. If you guys at home are trying to get them doing it. If you said shove it towards them, it doesn't work. So as soon as I moved it away, it was more interesting. I said, what do you try? You just keep trying everything. You just keep trying everything until there's something that they like. track of the date. I really haven't. He said, did you before all this happened? Not really.
said, well, I was in there digging around trying to find stuff. All right, let me move you guys in a little bit closer. So now she sees me. Now she's jumping all over me. So I'm not having any reaction. I'm not having any reaction. Oh, hi, Gloria. If you said now she's barking, ah! I'm still not having any reaction. Okay, so what I've got is the, and you have to be careful if you're going to use these little pig-eared things, but I've been doing that for maybe a year or two. Just to get the behavior. That's how I did it with honey. Remember, Gloria? <laughs> There's my behavior. He said, that's a good trick. That's how I got honey doing it, remember? That went quick. That's where I was in there digging around. I said, where the hell is those damn things? said it was a fluke. It wasn't a fluke. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. She's such a good girl. She said you was picking it up to eat it herself. Yes, she was. Oh, she's fixing to lay down. He said, should you give him those things? No, I don't think you should give him these things. He said, that was the behavior. Yes, you've just got to mend it all together. You said it made a difference when you moved it farther away. I'm going to warn you, don't move it too far away. <laughs> you said you're pleased with yourself. I am. <laughs> because it's a good little trick and it works. And honestly, I remember, Gloria, if I hadn't done that with, I can't re maybe it was even sugar. And she would just kind of, you know, like halfway inside of her mouth and do it. I can't, I actually think maybe Mark's dog was the first dog I started on. Because the dog's like eight years old. It wouldn't pick up anything. And then I, I didn't have these things. I had, um great big pig's ears and it would pick those up oh my god you little angel you little angel that's why I was digging around and they're trying to find this thing it's the only one I have left She put it right in my hand, Katie. I hope you saw that. And if you said as quickly as possible, you want to transition off that object, absolutely. She is smart. That's... I'm going to tell you, if you're doing this at home, you saw how quickly I moved stuff ahead by doing by grabbing this thing. And if I think back, if I would have done this with that bull terrier that took me a month to get something to pick it up, I probably resorted to that after that dog. It probably would have gone faster. Yeah. 
You see her looking back at me to see what is it that I want. The reason you have to be careful is they'll take it off. You little angel. She said that was my fault. Yes, I dropped it. See how quickly I moved my timeline. <laughs> anyway, Gloria, I'm going to do some instruction videos. I honestly wish I would have had you Amazon those collars to me, and then I could have sent them home with those collars on. Sugar has a collar on. Honey's collar fell off, and she chewed the clasp. But I'll find another collar just to throw on her. And I... I'm not sure if Mike left the leashes, but... oh. There's my land down. I'll find the, um, I'll find some leashes. Just, but listen, I already told this girl, don't, there's, don't stop and let them out. Just go straight there. You know, we don't want to task this girl with trying to deal with them or letting them out or do anything like that. But what I want you to do is as soon as you get them home, get the collar on and then get them separated and work with each one individually a little bit. So what do you do? Act like it's a Barbie. <laughs> you know, get play with a Barbie. The Barbie goes over here and Barbie goes over there. And then as soon as they set the Barbie down, the dog comes and chews Barbie's hands and feet off. But I got my down by happenstance, too. Then we eat, stir it around. You're sort of torn because you want to reward the down. And that's where you kind of get in a bind, Elizabeth. They start mixing up the two behaviors, but I initially started working on the down. It's, she's, look, she's staring at it like it's kind of irresistible. You see her looking at me. I don't look back. Rest of her chin down now. Okay, so get rid of that for now. But if you said she's gonna put her chin back down again, possibly. It's it's not a coincidence. I see her looking at me, but I don't look back. 
And I think you can see now, Gloria, when you were sitting down and reaching down and doing all this, that was just getting them stirred up. All right, if I get her back up, she might do it a bit. Let me tell you what, that was very, very good for a first. That's exactly what you would want to start out. Okay, so now she's back up. I could, might be able to pick it up one more time. But even if she didn't, that was the very first day. She put it right in my hand, Katie. I hope you saw that. If you said you just like saying that, I do. <laughs> now there's my down again, but you saw how getting her up caused it to happen. It's once you can get them on the right thread with you, it's it's just like with people. It's not that difficult to get people to copy you. If you said, give me an example. All right, just start talking to Mike, uh, Gloria, and then just start rubbing your nose. Just start going like this. If you're sitting there talking to somebody and you start going like this, they'll do it too. <laughs> she put it right in my hand. She's a little dog genius. I'm sure she poops in her crepe, but she's a genius. Probably gonna lay down. So how do I prevent that? Just get her back up again. There, you really do want them doing this from a standing position. <laughs> she said that was why she laid down. I think it might have been. The thinking of chewing on this thing caused the behavior of laying down. Now that I saw that, just right then, that's what that's what happened. But I never lured her into a down. It was her idea, and it worked. Anyway, oh, she's all over me. Said you better be careful, you put it too far away. Oh my god! Oh my god, she gave it right to me. She's unbelievable. Anyway, let me leave this with that for now. Let me get the girls out and do some instructions, and then I'm gonna do the little nature walk. Let's see if she'll lay back down. I'm so glad you brought her, Katie. I really am. She's gonna be unbelievable. The reason you have to be careful with these, though, is they'll just take it off and eat it if you're not careful. If I go, if I set this basket down inside and don't watch it, the other ones will get it and eat it. It's probably why I only have one left. She's thinking about it. Scary. If you said, how did I do that? I just exhaled. Anyway, she hasn't even been here 24 hours. But you saw where I started out. I did not start out asking her to do anything. I started out taking her out in the field out there and just saying, I don't care, bye. You said that's kind of psychology works? Yes. There's a very simple key to engagement. And I want you to write this down, Gloria, because men and kids are the worst. You've got to keep moving away. You cannot... Every time I see a video where somebody trains a dog and they end it by slapping the ribs, it's like that Friends where Chandler's boss was always slapping him in the butt. And then finally he couldn't take it anymore. So now he's scooting along the wall and doing all these different things just to avoid that. If you said that's how dogs are, yeah, it is. 
Anyway, girl, I'm beyond amazed with how good she's doing. So that's only the very first day. So we'll get her doing all these different things. And it's not just... It's not just housebreaking. I mean, we can get her doing so much more. When she's got... When the lion's share of things that she can do are things that are good, it can't just be they're doing this one bad thing. She doesn't know. If you can find the link for that kennel, send it to me. You know, I'm kind of thinking maybe, you know, they didn't let them out before you got her. And that kind of, you know, so she kind of got off on a bad foot. Or I was thinking there was this place, because I had these people. I had these clients. I can't even think of their name. It's been so long ago now. That got these... If I could even remember the dog's name, I could go look them up. There was two of them. But they got it from this place called Texas White Labs or something like that. That's what it was called. If I could even remember. They're on YouTube somewhere. If I could even remember the names. It's been so long ago, though. They were smart little dogs, though. But I, I want to say that was what the name of it was. All right, if you said you get her laying back down again, possibly. And she's going to get the full... I didn't lure the dog at all either. I didn't lure her at all. She likes the chicken better. Anyway, what a precious dog. What a precious, precious dog. Anyway, that's where we're at, girl. That was the very first day. So just what you should try to do, Katie, is save all the videos. So then you'll have like a complete training vlog of all her training. All right, let me go, and I'll be back with your going home instructions, and then let me know, Gloria, hopefully that you've ordered these collars, because we've got to have them right away, we, what, if, if you said what, because that's going to be the commonality between the two environments. Okay, be right back.